Hi, welcome in. May 22nd. Let's go to the verse for today, which is God's word at the bottom of the page. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. Matthew 24, verse 35. David, 2 Samuel 6, verses 1 to 11. The covenant box comes back. Now that David was finally king, his first thought was to bring the covenant box back to where it could be kept safe. It was still at Abinadab's, Abinadab's home. David's men took it and placed it on a cart drawn by oxen. Everyone was dancing and making a joyful noise. As they came to the threshing floor of Nacon, the oxen stumbled and Uzzah reached out to take hold of the covenant box. The Lord was angry with Uzzah for touching the box and Uzzah died there next to it. David was angry because the Lord had punished Uzzah, but he was also afraid. So he took the box to the house of Obed-Edom. Could the word of God ever disappear? Do you remember what Moses put inside the covenant box? Look up 1 Kings 8 verse 9 to see what it was and if it was still there. Yes, after all this time, the co commandments were still in the box because the Lord was very strict about anyone touching it. Only the priests whose special job it was to carry it were allowed to touch it. The commandments were more than just a set of rules. God had made a promise, covenant, that those who kept keep his rules will be his people and that he will love them and care for them. Psalm 103, verses 17 to 18. God has given us the Bible with commands and promises, commands he must obey and promises that God will keep. He, al he has also given a strict warning to anyone who tries to change a single word in the Bible, Revelation 22, verses 18 and 19. That is why we can trust the Bible, because God's word will never change or disappear.